And heavy hearts tonight in Parker. Three teens fell into an icy pond and had to be pulled out. And one of the teens has died. Another is in very critical condition tonight. Airlifted to Children's Hospital in Aurora. And we've just learned a third teen has been released. The teen who died spent 35 minutes under the ice. That water was so cold, rescuers had to take shifts to stay safe during the rescue. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn is live. Russell, the mayor, sent out his condolences tonight. Yeah, you guys, he says he is heartbroken. The three teens were walking home from Legend High School this afternoon when that tragedy on the ice happened. Here's what the mayor had to say about 45 minutes ago here at Town Hall. This is a tragic event, and, and right now the best thing we can do to start the healing process, love each other a little more, pray hard, uh, grab, your grab your loved ones. Before I left to come down here, you know, I stopped. I have two teenage sons. I have a freshman and a, a junior at Ponderosa High School. You know, I stopped to tell them how much I love them and how much I appreciate them in my life. The ice rescue started mid-afternoon. The first teen made it out safely. The second teen was rescued just a few minutes later by South Metro Fire. The third teen, who died, was fully submerged for nearly 35 minutes, according to police, before ice rescue teams were able to pull him out. This was a tragic accident plain and simple. The lesson here today is, you know, be cognizant of what's around you. Be aware of your surroundings. Uh, understand where you're at, what you're doing. We, we live in a climate where you can have sub-freezing temperatures at night and warmer temperatures during the day. And the ebb and flow of ice, it's dangerous. It's a very dangerous situation. Heroic efforts this afternoon by those ice rescue crews. Again, two teens survived. Live in Parker, Russell Haythorn, Denver 7 